So good afternoon, everyone. I thank you all for accepting the request to conduct the STEM workshop. And I'm very thankful to the team which has conducted the STEM workshop last time very successfully, because of which we got the permission to conduct it for phase two. So I would say that the credit of getting a permission to do the phase two goes to the team which has done successfully in phase one where, uh, as I have already shared with you, the letter from IEEE stating that in that workshop, totally we have covered around uh, 1,496 students of 21 schools and 77, I think, profit, teachers of those schools. And that was because of a big team of uh, volunteers of uh, professors, 21 professors and uh, I think 244 volunteers. And uh, always I uh, understand that it is the team that makes any event successful. And it is you who have made this event successful. So now because of the effort of the team of phase one that now we are able to strengthen our team to have more people getting included in this group. We were only nine last time and now we have more than 15 this time. Uh, those who are coming together to conduct the STEM workshop sponsored by IEEE Bombay section. I'll just start with a little brief and then tell you as how we normally conduct it. So totally this today's workshop or orientation that I have tried to uh, means looking at what all problems which we faced in phase one is. The first one is a normal how to conduct this workshop. Second is uh, about, uh, it's important that since your student branch is working so hard to report the events, since your student branch is working so hard to report the, uh, conducting these events, uh, they also get the credits when they upload the activities on V tools with respect to the credits coming to your student branch, which we missed out and uh, still we are facing a problem to upload on V tools. So the second part of the workshop or orientation will be on uploading our activities on V tools, and the last part. Uh, the last part of the activity is finally finance settlement. Because uh, for this activity, we have, uh, I would say that the grant is coming as a, uh, initially you are given as an advance that uh, amount is given to you. And against that amount, how you have to settle it that uh, there are no problems because uh, certain problems which we faced last time were the bills were not as proper as required. They were not of GST. The amount spent was not uniform. Like this is an activity STEM expecting that it will be creating an awareness by spending more amount on instruments and the components that we are using. But the amount, the balance was not visible and therefore we have tried to include what all challenges which we faced last time this in this presentation. So that in case you have any doubts still we can, we would try to verify. So I'll just start with the few things that we have done till now. So uh, this first uh, is about STEM. All of us are a part of the STEM education, engineering education. So it's our responsibility that uh, we encourage more people to take up this STEM, I mean science and technology, learn science and technology. Maybe sometimes the people do not take up this field because of their lack of awareness. Sometimes maybe because of the funds. And uh, it's important that we create the awareness about it so that the curiosity and that temperament is developed in them and they take up the science, uh, technology, engineering, and maths as their subjects for the pre uh, uh, in their 11, 12th, as well as in their engineering, means joining some courses. So this video I would like to share as how uh, we can, uh, we try to uh, put all the points together. So I'll just stop share my.
Is it audible? No, ma'am. Is it audible? Oh, yes, video voice is not audible. Hello, ma'am. Uh, video voice is not audible. Yeah. Yes. yes. Shop will give them a brief idea about electronics components and circuits to demonstrate various principles of science, particularly physics. Present generation has immense potential to explore and analyze. They have access to internet which can provide solution to their any query. There are videos available for all queries, but they lack in providing students an experience which can have an impact on their learning and thinking process. All these easily available solutions at one click are killing the ability to think and explore which is very dangerous for the growth of any country. For any country to grow there is a need to develop an attitude in young generation where they should want to know how things happen and where they can apply those concepts for betterment of society. In this regard, there is a lot of research going on in the Western world called as STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering and Math education initiatives particularly to motivating their younger generations to take science and engineering. The government of India, has also launched various programs, with the vision to transform India into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. All this is possible, only if we embed in the minds of younger generation, strong fundamentals of science and mathematics, from early age. It will enhance the ability of the students to use technology. Because in today world only technology can provide solutions to 60% of problems. So we conduct tech world workshop for school students and teachers in English, Hindi and Marathi free of cost with the objective to promote science and technology. So this, this video was to just tell us what was the inspiration of taking up this science uh, STEM workshop or starting the STEM workshop. Uh, I would also like to share a small story of why this came uh, or why we were motivated to develop this STEM workshop. It was like uh, my son was in 10th standard and his teacher just saw my profile as an electronics engineer, telecommunication engineer. In, uh, and she just called me that I'm facing, she's, she was a physics teacher. She said, I'm facing a lot of problem while teaching them this current electricity induction and all that. Can you help me with some setups which will help me to make these concepts more interesting for students to learn because right now it's like I tell them and it's like expecting them to just mug up. I want them to have a better uh, knowledge and better insight of what is going on, how the things happen. So just that was a starting point and when uh, I just took the books of my son then 8, 9, 10 and then we thought of how we can connect it with what we were actually teaching in our courses of electronic devices, electronic circuits and all. And then we came up with, the, initially we came up with 15 experiments that got connected with the syllabus of 10th standard of SSC board. And then we thought of why not extend it to the other boards. And to our surprise, the concepts and fundamentals do not change. The syllabus, although to say the boards were different, the concepts were similar and a slight variations in what we were already we have developed was actually suitable for whatever be the board, be it CBSC, IC or the IB board. And uh, that was the first time when we conducted and it was, I, I would say that the credit of making it a bigger uh, activity goes to IEEE Exicom member, uh, Mr. Dhyan. Uh, Gyaneshwar uh, sir, he just, he was our BOS member and he just went through all those initial 
uh, pictures and what all we have done. And he said that this program has got a good potential. And it was IEEE only which supported our STEM activity and we conducted and wanted us to develop the content, not uh, only to an English language, but making it uh, in a, a local language. And that is how we then develop, although the content was in English, we developed in Marathi, we developed it in Hindi and then started conducting the workshops for the municipal schools and uh, in Marathi as well as Hindi and found that language was not a barrier to connect the students to technology or the scientific subjects, but it was only these uh, uh, circuits or the small things that we were taking that was connecting the students and made it very interesting learning it and the retention was also good. We, we just conducted some kind of quiz and other things and found that the concepts were just not for that moment, but they had a good retention for that concept. And uh, to my surprise, after six months, I got one message from a teacher saying that while uh, uh, doing the chapter on current and electricity, the student remembered what you have taught in the class. So that was a good encouragement for us that what we were doing was actually getting connected to the student. So I just want to share a, a clip of how we have already done right from the first workshop to what we have developed it, like not only fixing it to English. So, uh, so this workshop, basically, we divide it into three parts when we are conducting. The first part is because we're directly making them go to the uh, circuits may uh, uh, make them disconnected with what they are using. So the first part is we introduce them to the, the box. We introduce them to the components that we are using for the workshop. Like we show them what is a motor, like and see, show them how the voltage is varying. We show them the, is it visible on the screen? Yeah, it's visible. You can, uh, I think, uh, stop the screen so that I can. Yeah, so we show them the resistor and also give them the multimeter. The point is not only showing them what yeah, this is a resistor or this is the uh, enthusiasm or the energy to work comes is when we give them the multimeters and show them how this resistance is varying. Now with the resistor, we definitely show them this LDR. We show them this LDR. 
and then uh, we use our mobiles to show them like when we are uh, light is falling how the resistance is less when they put a finger on it how the resistance is low similarly we show them this thermistor like that all the sensor components which we give you as a component list we try to show them this uh, we, we take those can we definitely when you are dealing with the students the security and the safety of the students is important so when we are showing them this thermistor we take the candles but we keep it with us not, not giving that part to the students to actually experiment because there could be a chances they getting hurt with it so like that we keep them in different sensors then the different forms of energy energy how it can be created one is motor then we talk about the piezo then we give them an analogy of how we connected with the real life our problems like when we talk about the potentiometers we talk about the regulators and show them how uh, moving the wiper can help them vary the resistance and hence the current varies and hence the motor the speed of the motor so these all things what i am trying to say is just first part is introducing but still maintaining the um, uh, enthusiasm about knowing something new because they, they haven't used all these things in their laboratory still now then after doing this first part of components we show them the simple circuits which we mounted on the our pcb boards like this a simple pcb board how do we make it is we conduct a kind of uh, we conduct a kind of workshop for our uh, ieee students and they um, they help us make these kits once we purchase our components they uh, purchase it we we try to show it with the help of different uh, setups like uh, if we talk about conductivity we just do not show them that by connecting the wire the current is flowing and hence the led is glowing but we also ask them as find out what all components are uh, there with you in your pencil box which are the conductor uh, i just want to share a simple example as one of the students when we were talking about conductor so uh, pencil uh, the lead is a conductor of electricity and uh, one student simply took a uh, sharpener uh, and both the sides of the pencil he just uh, sharpened and showed us see this lead is a conductor and the other student who was not having it he just took the pencil rubbed it on the simple paper he created a conducting patch and he showed me these are the all the ideas that come from the students that is when we are doing all this it's not restricted to what we want to teach them it's about their innovation and their ideas and to uh, and he demonstrated us see i created this pencil when i rub it on the paper it's again conductor he had rubbed it very nicely creating that black patch and on that he just put it then some student showed us that the clip that she was wearing is a conductor some uh, students then water uh, uh, since uh, uh, it it is a conductor all those things come out as an idea about when we talk about just just showing them what what we want to say but asking them for the new ideas that connect with it so that is the whole purpose of the activity is taking the components introducing them to these things and creating that so that they get connected with what they are doing okay so uh, next ppt we can share Uh, so all of you are active student branches and uh, ieee provides this uh, sponsorship of conducting the stem workshop for all the active student branches and uh, as uh, how when you are collaborating with this what you get is as i told you the sponsorship then the appreciation letter from ieee bombay section and once we publish the report like once we complete this phase 2 this whole report that we'll be preparing with the collective effect uh, effort of all the student branches coming together we will be able to actually um, get a good article uh, which gets published in the monthly newsletter of ieee bombay section 
And also when you upload on the V tools, you get the credits. I just want to tell you as a split up that is expected because uh, we had certain mismatches in our expectations from IEEE regarding how the money should be spent and how it was spent. The first thing is the 13,000, which is given to the first time when you are conducting it, it is expected that out of this 13 with the GST, the bill of purchasing the components that you, these are, it's not only expected that you make the kits, it is expected that at least two sets you give to one school, that is four, uh, uh, two schools that you are covering. So four sets is expected you give it. For that, you need the component. That box may not cost much, but we need to give those components because certain schools have asked us and that is how we understood that it was not only important to conduct it, but also important to give them for the students who are interested. So they keep it as a part of their science laboratory and they uh, do it. So uh, we give you the manual. We, you can give that manual to the schools, although all the videos I'll be sharing with whatever I, I was saying uh, for each, how the component training is done, how the kit training is done. For that, all the videos are available. We'll be sharing those videos with you. So manual is already there. So that video links can be shared with them or the manual that hard copy can be shared. We sometimes when we take the PPT, what we have found that uh, certain schools, when you are going to the BMC schools, uh, we found that certain schools did not have that um, project facility. So uh, we definitely use the blackboard, but we also got such kind of big slides got printed. The slides will be uh, sharing with you, which you can edit as per your convince the uh, flow that you set up. So these also help us to make the content reach when you are talking about some concept, right? Definitely showing them is one part of it, but the uh, every behind everything, what is the objective is we are teaching them some concept, and that should definitely for that we need some kind of um, uh, our. Uh, set up or uh, I would say a presentation to make the things more clearer when it is diagrams are there. So uh, we also, so for printing and manual, uh, it could be thousand rupees. Then when you are traveling, although it, uh, it's expected that it should be nearby, but we have kept a budget when the volunteers and the teachers are traveling, a thousand rupees could be spent on that. And since we do it, this activity, especially for, as I told you, it's taking into consideration the syllabus of 8, 9, 10 students who are like in a phase of deciding whether they should continue with the stream of science or whether they should leave it kind of. So it's basically the target is the 8, 9, 10 students and there to encourage them to actively participate and be interactive during the sessions. As I told you, for every uh, thing that you are uh, teaching, a kind of a question needs to be designed so that you get the responses and connect the students. So we give some kind of goodies, uh, like in uh, previously we used to give them some five rupees chocolates like that. But during pandemic, we, uh, we came across a condition from the schools that no eatables can be given. So we started giving the pens that I think was more appreciated because those schools, BNC um, uh, schools were there. So the students appreciate. So the cost was the same. And definitely when your volunteers are going, uh, uh, it's good gesture to give the uh, snacks or the breakfast to the volunteer team also. For that, we have kept the, uh, some question is there? Yes. Yeah, I'll Why just... is the fourth item having place upon? Yeah, I'm, I'm just telling you by a second time, that can be adjusted, but the component, this manual printing may get this 500. This is the only reason why we are keeping it second time. The We have the team, the first phase, completed the same fair we have uh, many interested colleges we are expecting you to do it only for the one school one school it is expected that it's the college will be 
means motivated to take up this activity forward. It's not every time I triple E coming. So it's like that is how it has been divided everything half. One school we are sponsoring for the second time and one is expected that the college will take the lead to conduct it for the second school. Do I answer your query? I was coming to that point. So this is first time card distribution. Second time distribution is that in a year, like in a year, if I'm conducting, I'm getting a sponsorship twice from IEEE. Second time, it will be for one school. One school, the lead has to be taken from the college. And moreover, we, what we found is the component, the kits that we have prepared were actually are still in the good condition. Are for us, the are in the good condition, which can be reused. That is the uh, second reason. Do I answer whose question was it? Um, I cannot see the question. Chat me. No, it's not visible to the direct message. Okay, it's to you. Okay. Uh, can you see whose message was it? Reda. Acha. Madam, do I answer your question? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, uh, so when when it is done for the second time, you mean to say the institute uh, will be uh, sponsoring the 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 uh, items? No, no. This is for this first time we have already sponsored. IEEE has already given your college thirteen thousand. This is the second time when you are doing it. So then you get a sponsorship for uh, out of thirteen you are expected to spend uh, for two schools, right? When we are giving you six thousand five hundred, we are expecting one school. The IEEE is sponsoring one school. You are able to sponsor from the institute part. Okay. Okay, because uh, the reason I will tell you was that I, I found that the kids do not get, this is one first time is you are expected to build up the kids that you use for training. Second time, pe wo kharab nahi hua hota hai, you can reuse it, agar kuch, uh, soldering ya kuch connection. it's not getting wasted. So it's not cost nahi aata. That is the another reason. My kids are in a good condition, which we made it for the first time. And I, I think it would be the same for others also. Yeah, only the eatables uh, are things uh, which, which See, are this is, this is suggestive. Madam, the ka 3,000 or 1,500, that is suggestive, but the component, the ratio we, which we want is a major component should go to the component, yeah. the cost of, that is. The rest three is suggestive. We can just merge it and with that before sharing the PPT. So we'll merge it. It's suggestive of the remaining three that you can always take the call. You can uh, remove that and spend it the other. Thank you. Okay. So the next part is although Kiran sir will be directly addressing you because uh, we, as I told you, there were certain mismatches in the expectations of how we receive the bills. So all the bills have to be, although you may take the money, whatever account details you send us, you have sent us already the fund transfer forms that I'll be just consolidating and sending it to IEEE Bombay section. Before that, I just want to tell you, whatever be the account you are telling us, the money gets transferred to that account, but all the bills, because last time I saw that some people took the college ke naam pe liya tha, and then they found that it was difficult to uh, get the bills in name of IEEE Mumbai Section Welfare Association. All bills with GST have to be there. Remaining previous slide, Jaini. Components may, I agree, it is easy, it can be possible. But for the remaining, jo hai, if you do not get the bills in GST, it's okay. Components may aana hi chahiye with GST. Ka. Okay? Remaining, I know, I understand, it's not possible to get in GST. Okay? Then uh, uh, it's also recommended that aap jab college, schools mein jate hai, so it's for your college also, I would say that aapko bhi ek outreach ka, uh, this could be an option. You should ask for a letter of thanks from the school for whom you are doing this. 
and uh, uh, as when you are telling them you are telling them that this is since sponsored by IEEE you can ask them for that a mention for IEEE Bombay section in the letter that comes to your college so that will go in the record so agar aapko aisa kuch problem hai abhi tak humko to problem nahi hua hai whenever we are conducting since we are conducting for free we give them so many things they are uh, happy to give us a simple thanks letter that uh, they, this workshop has been conducted for them. In case you have a problem, you can just share, then uh, the case may vary because last time kuch logo ne liya tha, nahi liya tha. That is why I'm telling you in the beginning that it's a good thing. Aapke college ke records ke liye achcha hai. Kyunki you get some points for an outreach activity and it's a part of an outreach activity. Okay? Uh, uh, whenever you plan, like the last part uh, of it is whenever, like, say, today we had an orientation, soon the money will be transferred to your account. Start approaching the school and say your dates are fixed. Do share the dates on the group so that we also are aware about when this activity will be getting completed because our deadline to conduct this activity, since I think aapke, sabke students July 2nd week. Tak aa jayenge, na? Yes or no? Yes. So, uh, if you have schools ko ya bhi, uh, pre, uh, isme aap kids ke liye thoda agar unka help abhi un ke paas time hoga. So they can just one day workshop mein, they can easily build up the kids and uh, ya yeah, maybe two days agar zyada hota hai. So that is possible. And uh, then uh, finally, after you complete it, we provide you a Google form for uploading all the data. We do not take anything other than bills and the fund transfer in hard copy. The rest other things are taken in soft copy. Aap sab original apne paas hi rakhenge. attendance. I'll give you all the formats, attendance, feedback. You will just share the soft copies with us and remaining all hard copies. So, uh, is the deadline of 31st July for completion of two schools possible? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, this is Professor Ishidas from Don Bosco College of Engineering, Goa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Madam, uh, our semester exams are actually starting from uh, 20th of July. Okay. Yeah, our semester has got delayed and it will get over, I think, so by... Uh, somewhere around 15th or the other 13th of August. 13th of August. So yes. uh, what would be the date if you give me as completion, then we may have to rethink on these because 31st August is like the deadline. Yes, so we, within that it will be possible, madam. So we have to July ko hum log August kar dete hai. And uh, 31st August, the cap upload be curving data. Ah, ho jayega, ma'am. Ho jayega, na? Ah. I'll, I'll just make both the dates same. Make every, all the dates as 31st August. Sorry. Is yeah. it okay for all? Deadline? Yeah, thank you, yes, it's yeah. It's doable? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, next slide. So uh, I just want to show you the sample reports, bills, and reimbursement, and how do we consolidate the data. So one report sample, uh, and with that, you could show. You have already sent me. I just just enlarge. 
we have already this i'm showing it to you for the last time the completed and very nicely made uh, report the one sample that i have kept it so uh, you see the invoice with the invoice number these are all gst bills the refreshment as i told you the traveling and other things they were without gst so uh, this is what you submitted uh, initially aapne mujhe already form bhej diya hai scroll down तो आपने इसमें लिखेंगे एडवांस रिसीव वंस यू कंप्लीटेड एंड स्पेंड द अमाउंट एंड द अकाउंट डिटेल्स अभी नहीं चाहिए इनिशियली जो आपने मुझे भेजा है दैट वी विल बी ऑलरेडी कंसोलिडेटिंग वन शीट एंड सेंडिंग इट टू द बॉम्बे सेक्शन और नीचे स्क्रॉल करेंगे दिस बिल नीड्स टू बी सॉरी दिस शीट नीड्स टू बी अटैच विद ओरिजिनल्स ऑफ द बिल्स सो दिस लाइक ऑल पेमेंट्स दैट इज डन all these bills which may be not of the size of a4 have to be pasted on a a4 paper so as you can see this is the gst bill of the components with the, in the name of ieee bombay section next okay yes so this is also like uh, gst number i have I, i will be sharing with you so please remember do not spend any amount on any bill in the name of say your ieee branch which is receiving the money or if you give us the college account the bills have to be in this name only with the gst number which i'll be sharing this is another sample uh, we will be sharing all the manuals the components required everything so from that kyunki last time kya hua tha hum log ko components since humne apne regular vendors se liya tha humko thoda sasta pada tha and the same list i shared and then uh, uh, yes uma madam shared that wahan pe gst ke sath kafi costly pad raha tha so they have to little adjust on the numbers you can stop share uh this this is the form i hope all of you have already mailed me uh this amount uh, this form so this form is also required for the initial fund transfer i'll just after today's attendance i'll be just uh, looking into all the colleges that have attended consolidating their uh, uh account details with the name and the amount uh, and sending it to Uh, to bombay section for fund transfer and this is the report that you have to make it for your event so it was our student branch uh, later head since that was the main body that was conducting it we kept the header uh, of ieee then the event details the objectives that we conducted who were the staff involved this list is important of the staff and the volunteer name because that gets reflected on your appreciation that gets reflected on your appreciation letter so the details of which all schools were covered how many students uh, were the part of it like it's not the our target is not only the student but also the teachers there so that they will be the only people who will be taking forward the components and the circuit that you give and using it in their science laboratory so these were certain pictures uh, that definitely add value to your report and the team that has conducted it feedback the for feedback as you saw in the video we have used the clicker app uh, it gives you an instant feedback so actually uh, i what i have observed is mahake whenever we are conducting such workshops 
वहाँ के डेफिनेटली प्रिंसिपल वाइस प्रिंसिपल आते हैं देखने के लिए एंड दे आर वेरी हैप्पी वेन वी शेयर विद देम द इंस्टेंट फीडबैक सो दीज आर द कार्ड विच वी गॉट प्रिंटेड एंड वी आर यूजिंग इट सिंस सो मेनी इयर्स एंड दे डोंट गेट स्पॉइल आप इसको नॉर्मल पेज पे भी प्रिंट आउट लेंगे बट उसका कुछ प्रॉब्लम होता है अगर पिक्सल्स प्रॉपर नहीं होना डार्क ब्लैक कलर तो इट डज नॉट रिकॉर्ड इट आप सिंपल एक क्लिकर आप डाउनलोड करिए एंड वंस यू गिव इट टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड दे होल्ड इट विद द ऑप्शन विच एवर इज देयर ऑन द टॉप यू जस्ट स्कैन इट विद योर मोबाइल इंस्टेंटली यू गेट द फीडबैक एंड शेयरिंग दैट फीडबैक इंस्टेंटली इज एक्चुअली encouraging those schools to have more such workshops in future that is what is my observation so this is uh, feedback and questions so uh, these are certain feedback analysis which we have done it uh, we normally kyunki wo schools mein bachcho ke paas to mobile hai nahi ki aap a google form pe bhar sake so what we do is we take it in the group of say since ab jab kids de rahe hain to uh, individual ko you are not giving you are giving it to a say a group of four or five one set that you are providing every time uh, keep on uh, giving and taking it back kyunki they are so much um, enthusiastic when we give such things now they they start playing it's it's normal and it's good that they start playing sometimes in uh, enthusiasm they take out some wires and all so we what we do is we give them one kit take it back give them the second kit explain talk interact ask them to do something and record and tell us that is how the activity goes on and uh, so one group is since working together we give them one hard copy of a feedback and then uh, we just try to consolidate so that uh, it comes as a record of what activity you conducted and what was its impact so uh, what is their assessment about the workshop did they meet uh, the knowledge did they... so uh, definitely when you are taking a feedback as uh, the form which i'll be sharing is in english we normally explain the students when we teach it uh, go to a marathi medium or a, a hindi speaking school so there we just explain them what this question means so that they can answer it with the uh, by with an understanding rather than just doing a tick or a cross okay so did you motivate you can stop share and uh, as a, i would say that an extension of it once we have the collaboration or a connection with these schools we in our tech fest we have been organizing some project competitions also and where we invite especially for the school students and we found that a uh, lot of entries have started coming from the school student they feel happy to come and once they visit an infrastructure they all get more motivated to be connected with the science and in engineering so that is how we have just extended a part of it by just uh, having them on the campus um, for some kind of competitions also so for uh, the since right now we have been conducting this for more than 5 years so lot of schools are there and we find that they they want to participate and we have been receiving it so more than 15 17 student groups they come they demonstrate what they have developed so that is also an encouragement for us because we have been going there and now we see it as an outcome coming as those students doing some projects using what we have given so that i would say that that uh, is an extension of what we have actually thought of Finally, reported consolidated last. this report which we are sharing is what got published in the newsletter of pans as i was telling you about the numbers so this is what is the summary of what all has been done by various student branches and it was published in the 
PHPC. It was published in the IEEE newsletter, the summary report. Some question is there? Two schools have to be covered by 31st August. Two more means? Who's can they be the same schools? Uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, because you have already covered it for the means. Different class, different. If you are going to the same school, do it for a different class. Maybe you have to go to the 8th, then you have to go to the 9th. So, you can do the same school. It's okay. But new students, new set of students. Right? This was the question. Okay. Huh. okay. Next. Scrolled. Hmm. Pictures are there. So just go down. Uh, pictures. Hmm. This was like uh, you can enlarge it. Yeah, it's the close case. Okay, so this was just uh is scrolled on job Google Maps type. Right? You can make it 71 for more percentage, but that's it. Okay. It's visible. Yes. Uh, just scroll down. Google Maps. This Google Maps is actually an indicator of where all we conducted this workshop that is in phase one, right from Chhattisgarh, that is BIT conducting to Goa, uh, as well as uh, we had uh, colleges in Nasik. Last time, majorly it was Mumbai. So this time, uh, IEEE Bombay section was expecting that we have more colleges outside Mumbai. Uh, rather than just uh, Mumbai because last time definitely my contacts were limited to Mumbai and uh, I thank all of you for joining hands. Now this time we have uh, colleges from Pune, Sihigar, Lonawala. All that that is possible because you have taken an initiative to come and conduct the STEM workshop. So this... This is what from my side and uh, the feedbacks, uh, I am thankful all of you have given very good feedback about the conduct and the experience of conducting it. Uh, definitely your experience has added up to what we have done. I was just, uh, when I was telling uh, Satnara and sir about how we used to conduct, definitely we used to have a target of say, going and conducting for five schools. But when he told me that, do you want to do it alone or you want to do it in collaboration? So this collaboration, actually I could see the numbers. Five schools means we used to have a say, an audience of, say 50 or 60. So that would make it only 300, right? Five schools per semester. And that number was, I would say, multiplied five times. I told him that this workshop has taught me the real meaning of multiplication when the teams come together. So it is uh, not one man effort that can make this event successful. It is the teamwork that has that can make it successful. We have this team here with me sitting right now, who has been with me since five years. So I just want my team to switch on the camera and share. You can come switch on your camera there. I'll just switch off. Anvita, uh, Dinesh, and Asmita, they have been working with me since last five years. And these are the two lab assistants in my department. And Anvita, she is the in charge of EDC domain. So we have been together doing it. We used to do it for Nehru Planetarium also. 
so all this as i told you definitely a team was here now because of you all the team has become bigger and thank you all for joining this collaborative activity so i think anand sir will join yeah uh, i just want uh, uma madam to please share her experience of conducting it first time so that what if anything i missed out as an experience of conducting or the problems that are shared you can also come up and say as what you have experienced which is sir is there Yes, on mute. Ah, uh, madam, you are on mute. We cannot hear you. Yeah, I think not. Sir. Yeah, ma'am, you can share. Oh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. So my experience was very good, ma'am. Actually. we went to two government schools actually and the first government school both the schools we conducted it for class 9 only so the first school actually class 9 students were not familiar with ohms law as well so that was a uh, slightly that was a drawback but uh, due to corona we could conduct in march only and there were board exams for class 10 so we could not get students of class 10 uh, but the students were keen and they have shown very good interest and they have learned many subjects and they were enjoying it really so okay. maybe as you told me when they will be studying class then people will have got them maybe so that could the principal was very interested the others to we can conduct it for class 11th as well so because in class 11 they are uh, uh, they are having not of all these things and they want to do the experience so uh, can we do it for class 11th as well so you wanted to know from your side Eleventh, actually, the target audience we have kept it eight, nine, ten, ten. Eight, nine, ten. You want? Yeah, yeah. So that Because particular school, eleventh, uh, they have already decided. Eleventh, yeah. If you feel, then maybe we can. I can propose because my my proposal has eight, nine, ten as the target audience. uh i'll definitely in the meeting i'll propose of extending it to 11th or 12th uh, right yeah, now let's uh, focus maybe the next phase we will have a a bigger uh, yeah uh, okay. means bigger uh, student or management uh my space our uh, management is uh, suggesting us to do something for this uh, mentally retarded students yeah yeah I, 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 you told us that, so, that that is actually um, very good that we yeah, yeah. extend this activity for the students with learning disability so definitely if the ideas come we can enhance it and make a new proposal for it and maybe include only those things okay. which get connected to the uh, students with the learning disability and that that's a very good idea I even spoke yes, to manisha yes. ma'am that day uh -huh. so she was uh, yes, suggesting let's do it so i told her we will do it. let's first uh -huh. do one test to find out what gets connected to them and the concepts yes, that yes. yes i have spoken to the management of one of the schools so i'll be visiting the school on this saturday And, uh, so we'll nice and that's a very good idea. That's a very good uh, new idea. We will see the age group of students and accordingly what uh, their learning skills are and what can be implemented there. What sort of activities we can plan? That I will make a list and then I will talk to you now. That. Sure. So this time I want to uh, go to these two two schools of his uh, special children. Okay. So I can do that, no ma'am. Yes, yes, बिल्कुल कर सकते हैं वैसे. ठीक है मैम तो इसका एक्टिविटीज मैं आपको बता दूंगी मैम हां एंड आउट व्हाट वी कैन डू एंड वी प्लान अकॉर्डिंगली एंड वी कैन लेट यू नो मैम अह गायत्री मैम थैंक यू या थैंक यू मैम आनंद सर नेक्स्ट वन गायत्री गायत्री मैडम यू आर देयर ऑनलाइन Yashu sir. 
Yeah, hello, ma'am. Yeah, if you could share your experience. Uh, the experience was really amazing. Uh, first of all, we had targeted some, as the target was given, like two schools. So we had targeted two schools, but uh, then, uh, I don't know, uh, principal, ma'am. You went ma beyond <laughs> ended. <laughs> you went uh, beyond ended one more school, sir. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a principal man suggested one more. Yeah, so that's no, the reason we targeted another. No, actually, I would say another. that your one more helped us to meet the target. Actually, we were supposed to have ten student branches and twenty schools to be covered. One okay. student branch backed out at the last moment because of their NBA uh -huh. visit. So you okay. did one, we did two more, and we exceeded the target of twenty-one. <laughs> we reached twenty-one instead of expected okay, twenty, great, although great. there were only great. nine. Student branches, so it yeah. really helped us to meet our target. <laughs> yes, true. Uh, and uh, how we went about is that you know first uh, uh, and then uh, after having a meeting with our student branch members, we first uh, went about like you know how to teach students, uh, and then we trained our volunteers. Our volunteers were trained, and then they took over completely uh, in the schools. Yeah, and uh, principals, headmistress, headmasters were very happy the way it was uh, conducted, and students enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yeah. My pleasure. We yeah. have. And ma'am, one more thing I would just like to mention. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, because if at all uh, you had not come onto our way, these things wouldn't have happened. So thank you for that. And uh, thank you, really, sir, for joining this. It's your, your contribution that only has made this. Means all, all of us together yeah. have made this. IEEE has taken up now. If this phase two also we do it successfully now, then it will become an yes. yearly activity. This is right now. I would Correct. say that it's in the testing period. Pilot project it is. First phase, uh -huh. second phase. If it is goes successfully, then it will yeah. like they will adopt it as yearly two times in, uh, every six months. They will launch this ten student branches or maybe all uh, twenty student branches together. That is what they have said. Yes, so it's like the success of this phase will help us make it an yearly activity of hydro. Yes, surely that would happen. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I will just try to connect to Anand, sir. Anand, sir, has this one? Uh, sir, sir is joining in two minutes, so we'll start with that. I, I would request you if you could have your uh, laptops or a system ready, then you will be able to do it 
with sir and c i hope all of you have your logins so you will be able to do with sir and understanding right now what you can do is declare the activity and once you complete it upload the data that can be done and he will help us because we already many of us have conducted in phase 1 and have still not been able to report it on meetings so that we will be able to do so just keep your systems on and your idpli logins 